Kampung Pishan is a committee where all the members share each other things that we don't need so that we all have enough. In this period, we decided to have a pop-up soup kitchen giving away 100 bowl of soup and rice for free to everyone who wants it. We work with M2 Cafe to organize this soup kitchen which runs from 7 June to 2nd July 2021. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm from Kampong Bishan and I'm also from a good space cooperative where I met Ken Bing. Uh, Ken Bing shared about this cafe that he had and how it's, it's closing now, stopping operations. Um, he was wondering what else he could do with the space. He had this idea where he would invite people who always wanted to run an FMB to experience it firsthand and, and learn for themselves whether this is something they wanted to do or not. And then I remember that Ting always wanted to have a soup kitchen, just a short one, temporary one. And I thought, actually we can use the space for, for, for her to try that out. So I introduced them both over a WhatsApp chat group and then things took off from there. Freefood for All got involved with um, this soup kitchen because um, Daniel, I think, reached out to Mr Niza, our founder, um, to share about this um, idea that he had to actually have a free soup for all kind of um, program where people can actually come and get um, just free soup for themselves or rather for their uh, friends or families who are perhaps um, unable to come down. And being a food charity that champions um, food security, uh, we are more than happy to come on board to provide things like um, the halal chicken, the rice, as well as the containers for the soup. I'm Yan Ling and I'm representing Little India Veggie Collection. So we do that on Mondays and Fridays where we approach shops around Little India to collect their unsellable and surplus vegetables. So one day, Daniel Tay, he messaged me and asked like, hey, does Little India Veggie Collection want to supply some of their um, collection to this soup kitchen? Then I say, hey, why not? Because we do have quite a lot of collection on each night. Uh, I'm Daniel Yap from Fleet Restock Community. Uh, basically, we do rescue mission in Pasir Panjang. We rescue perishable vegetables, ugly vegetables, and we send to community freezers. I supported KB Free Food for All is because they are doing something very meaningful. Giving 100 packs of food every day is not easy. So, um, an M2 Cafe stands for I am true, T-O-O. -O. Uh, in short, it's an open invitation, open statement for everyone to think about how am I similar to others, think about how inclusive we want to be as a, as a society, and how we um, um, reflect through all our different perspectives and mindsets. I think it really comes from um, um, several episodes in life, especially when I volunteer with different groups in Singapore and overseas. And when I get to interact with different groups of people, I realize that um, um, yes, we can be in different circumstances, we can be born in different uh, backgrounds, different countries. And yet, uh, in, I think that throughout the many interactions, I think that we are all similar in very, many different ways. And it doesn't matter how much material things we have, uh, deep in the heart, we can connect with, with one another. Among the people who came to collect food, there was um, there were some homeless people. One of our volunteers told me that, whispered to me, he said, you know, one of this lady who come and collect, she has a certain smell around that maybe she hasn't showered for for a few days. Ah. So so that what he what he said kind of stayed in my head for for a next for a whole day, and then the next day when I was at home and I came out of the shower and I realized that, you know, my my parents. <laughs> used to travel a lot and they collect a lot of travel toilets which they sit on this tray outside the bathroom and we just, we're just, just not using them. So I brought 10 body wash and travel shampoo, just stick it on our wall. And when I, when I wasn't looking and I turned around, the whole, everything was gone. Just people were taking, were taking it. Um, I had ex some experience sleeping on the streets as an experiment a few years ago and I found that um, travel size toiletries were very helpful because I couldn't bring a, a big bottle around with me. I want to minimize the amount of weight. And I was thinking maybe this, these people who are sleeping on the streets might appreciate it as well. So I brought more and I, I pasted it on a wall, took a photo and they took it and I, then I put it on Facebook. Say, hey, um, I'm just doing this soup kitchen and we're giving away toiletries to, to um, um, 
some of the homeless food recipients. If anybody want to, to give us your toiletries, you know, and you're not using now, just bring and, and people just brought and the, the Facebook post just went viral and I'm like, I don't know how many toiletries we're gonna get. <laughs> You know, in Chinese family, they will cook soup. Sometimes it's just a simple bowl of soup with then rice. And we, we, we're so happy with that. Especially now, we are very busy, work until very late. Sometimes we have already have our dinner um, outside, not at home. My mom will text me, yeah, just come home for soup. I believe maybe for the parents, the things that um, Y'all, y'all can go out have your friend in the... Don't forget to come home. Something like a trip. Uh, one the kids come home for a simple meal. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Soup is something like only person who care for you. Because cooked soup is not a fried egg, a dish that needs less than 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Can. Cooked soup, you need a lot of time to have a nice bowl of soup. So the person who can make this soup for you is care about you, love about you, then they want you to give you the, the most best soup. I hope uh, to be able to share this, this thing, this message to everyone. And I hope them to feel this love too. When they drink the soup, when they see the soup, the, the, it's hot soup in front of them, they can remember somebody that love. Uh, I like to tell stories of all the interesting things I've done in my, my lifetime. And in order to tell interesting stories, you must have interesting adventures. And starting a soup kitchen, even if it's just for one month, starting a soup kitchen is fun for me. And it's also very meaningful because, well, COVID has been a tough time for a lot of people. Um, it's, some people lost their job, some people lost their whole career, some people like, you know, can make also lose his business, right? It's, it's, it's a very stressful period, it's a very discouraging period for a lot of people and the pandemic has lasted a lot longer than most people thought it would, myself included. Um, we want to bring hope, we want to bring some form of encouragement for people who are feeling discouraged by it. And we wanted to, to encourage people, to give them hope, tell them that yes, we know this pandemic is dragging on, but it's gonna pass, it will pass, all things will pass. Just hang in there, just, just hang in there and, and, and we hope that by drinking this soup you feel nourished, you feel uh, not just feed your, your stomach but also feed your soul, give you strength to continue. We have uh, limited resources, we have limited supplies, 100 bowls a day but it still means 2,000 meals. Yeah, so that's why I wanted to do it. I grew up in a kampong, okay, for close to 16 years. Um, um, and I guess the 16 years of kampong childhood life growing up there and upbringing by my grandparents and my mother uh, really um, give me the values along of that simplicity, gratitude and, and, and I don't need much to really live my life with. I think I, I, I really appreciate the kind of years of that I have. I think that somehow guided me through my own life and I came into FAB um, with a long-term intention of help doing good to the different communities. Uh, because I myself love food. And I think food is a very commonality to, to bring people all together. And, and no matter what, all of us need food. Yeah, no matter all of us need food. And, and I also appreciate the value of food in a sense that no, it's not the money, it's that food comes from somewhere else. The farming, agriculture. And, and I always um, eat up every single grain of rice on my plate. Yeah, every single thing that I can put on my plate, into my stomach and my mouth, I will take it if, as long as I, I can. I can give a lot of time, but I can't give a lot of money. So I keep wondering, how can I do it? Can I do something for the group of people I want to give? So we meet, we start in a group chat, then within 18 days, this, is, this thing happened. Yeah, so it's very grateful that both of them and another, uh, uh, the whole group that agreed that actually this food is not for needy. We, what we cook is we cook with our love, we cook with our passion. So we want to give the hot soup to everyone. 